This video shows you how to enable the SAP Basis Probe communication with the SAP server. Why do you need to enable the communication? The SAP Basis Probe cannot extract data directly from the SAP server. You need a middleware component to support the communication. Only if this communication is enabled can the probe perform a holistic monitoring of the SAP server. For example, to monitor the SAP HANA database, install the SAP HANA client. To monitor the SAP NetWeaver system, install the JMX client libraries. To monitor the SAP ABAP system, install the SAP Java connector. In this video, I will show you how to install the SAP Java connector. The installation of the SAP Java connector is a three-step process. First, you have to download and extract the SAP Java Connector files on your system. Download the SAP Java Connector zip file from the SAP Service Marketplace on the system where the SAP Basis Probe is installed. As you can see, I have installed the zip file here. Right-click on the zip file and click Extract All. You can extract the zip file at the same destination where you installed it. Ensure that this location is always accessible and the folder does not get deleted, or else the probe will not be able to monitor the SAP ABAP system. Please write down this path on a note. You will require to enter it later when you set the path and class path environment variables of your system. Click Extract. After the successful extraction, you will see the .dll and .gar files. Now. Add the SAP Java Connector path to the path and class path environment variables. From the Start menu, right-click on Computer and select Properties. On the System screen, click Advanced System Settings. On the System Properties window, click Environment Variables. Select Path and click Edit. Add the location where the SAP Java Connector.dll and .jar files are saved. Do not remove your existing variable value. You can enter this location using a comma separator. Please enter the same path that you saved in the note earlier. Click OK to save the variable value. Now select Class Path and click Edit. Add the location where the SAP Java Connector.jar file is saved. Do not remove your existing variable value. You can enter this location using a comma separator. Again. Remember to enter the path that you saved in the note earlier. Click OK to save the variable value. On the Environment Variables window, click OK to finish the process. The last step is to provide the same SAP Java Connector installation path in the SAP Basis Probe. From the Infrastructure Manager interface, open the SAP Basis Probe. Click on the General Setup icon. In the Setup window, select the GCO checkbox. Then click Browse to locate where the .jar and .dll files are saved. Click Apply to save the information. Now, the SAP Basis Probe can directly communicate with the SAP ABAP system for monitoring. For more information about the SAP Basis Probe, refer to the documentation on the CA DocOps platform or visit the CAUIM community to join the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.